okay so we were uh, discussing about the softwares and now how to collect data and uh, how from where to collect data if you want to do social network analysis so data can be collected from two different sources prime either primary or uh, secondary and data collection technique if you are collecting data from the primary source then you can uh, use the interview method the delphi techniques and if you are uh, collecting data from the secondary source then you can use uh, the uh, scrapping of data the scratch you can uh, just uh, export the data from twitter you can export the data from twitter and you can also do the review of uh, past studies using the uh, using the data from uh, web of science and scopus okay so these are the different sources and uh, techniques of data and uh, one of the technique that we and one of the method we used uh, in our study was the uh, was the delphi technique and uh, how to do the uh, collection of data and analysis of data using the delphi technique so first of all you need to make a matrix okay so i think everybody know what is matrix it uh, it was in the very first slide that uh, in the so in the terminologies so whenever we collect data in the uh, social network analysis we use the matrix and uh, all the characters or all the actors are uh, written on the row and column also and we finalize the relationship we write either 0 or 1 uh, suppose how to fill the matrix let's see suppose a is okay. so in order to fill the relationship uh, we see the relationship uh, from the here from uh, we see the relationship uh, of a with the b and c why not c because a, a will not talk about himself so in that case we write zero here and similarly we never we will never ask uh, from b about him or uh, her so that is why we will write zero here and similarly if we want to uh, we will ask uh, we will never ask uh, from c about uh, himself or herself so this so we write zero here and suppose uh, uh, we want to know uh, how many of people uh, or what those people think about others and we ask uh, a if you think that uh, b is a very good good student so if a will say yes so we will give him one and if he will say that uh, no uh, b is not a good student so he we will write zero here okay so we can uh, use only the binary binary number because the software does not know anything about the uh, non binary numbers he cannot uh, analyze 2 3 4 5 he can uh, the software can analyze either 1 or 0 so if there is a positive uh, relationship we write 1 and if there is a negative relationship we can write 0 but uh, it's up to you if you want to uh, give a zero for positive then you can write it no problem and similarly we will ask uh, a about c and whatever he will say we will give c the marks okay and uh, one more thing is that we will never show uh, the graph of uh, a whatever a has uh, said about uh, b c to b and c okay this will be very confidential because it if we will do that we will uh, show b and c look what he is saying about you then it will uh, it will lose the essence of social network analysis okay so we have a example to show here and uh, might is not working <laughs> so this is study uh, we conducted this study in the year 2020 using the same method it was already open so in this study uh, we use the same approach we have written here also okay 
So in this study, uh, we took data from the expert and we ask about the factors which affect the uh, which affect the equity investment. Uh, sorry, uh, affect the disposition effect in equity statement uh, investment. So it was related to behavioral finance, and uh, we try to apply this method for the first time on the uh, behavioral finance. So in this study. We uh, we collected data. We collected the uh, information about the factor from the literatures, and then we uh, ask about those factors uh, from uh, different experts, and uh, we uh, we created a matrix and fill the responses of the experts. And how we have uh, filled the responses? So it is written here. So the data matrix of the opinion of the experts showing the relationship among the uh, variables. Okay, so one is denoting a relationship and zero is uh, denoting no relationship. So we just wanted to focus if there is a relation or not. We we didn't ask uh, about the positive or negative relationship. We just ask about if there is a relationship or not. So uh, all the factors. Like uh, gender, age, and uh, sorry, I can't remember these uh, factors. So uh, we first of all uh, uh, rename all the factors. We gave a short form to all the factors so that we uh, it it would look presentable. And then we ask about the uh, influence of uh, these factor on the other factors. Okay, so. This is how we filled our matrix, and uh, then we did the analysis. And uh, here are the results of our analysis. So our graph looked like this, and uh, we found that uh, this particular factor, which is listed as M A here, and uh, I think second was uh, S E or uh, yes, second was S E. So th these two factors uh, came out to be. most influential factors when we talk about the disposition effect in the investment equity investment and uh, how we identify those factors the results of the very fact uh, of the factors were also represented in the uh, calculations also the uh, calculation were very much uh, in line with the graph okay so yes you can see here that these are the two factors st and ma Which came out to be very influential, and uh, they had the outer uh, highest out degree. And uh, what out degree? Sorry, uh, this term was not there in the PPTs. So out degree means the uh, outward relationship. It means that ST is influencing most of the factors in the network, and similarly, MA is also influence. MA was the mental accounting. So mental accounting was a term, uh, was a node. that was influencing most of the factors in the network okay so there was highest outward uh, relationship from uh, uh, st and ma and that is why those factors were very uh, influential and you can see that uh, there is a cluster around these two factors okay uh, the clustering is uh, very visible you can see that uh, the uh, these factors are clustered around and uh, these are the uh, these were the highest highly influential factors as compared to the factors who are uh, who are uh, outside the cluster okay so let's see pe i think pe a and uh, these uh, factors were the least influential yes so the pe sorry sn sn and vr b let's see where are these factors so sn is a factor and vr and vl so these were the factor who were least influential in this network okay and uh, how we identify the effect of these factor with the help of in degree out degree and there was also there was also betweenness centrality yes we also calculated the betweenness centrality and uh, for that we uh, converted our the um, representation a little bit uh, so that uh, the betweenness of the factor could be represented in better way so you can see ie and st let's see yes ie and st had the better uh, greater betweenness centrality 
and uh, they were the they were also the highly influential factors here and here are the discussion so uh, this is how you can collect data and uh, analyze those data and uh, publish uh, your paper in a good journal but uh, now the question is how to use uh, the softwares so uh, uh, we use only so uci net and we have uh, some kind of subscription with the uh, we have subscribed to their software and that is why we can still use that software so if you want to use uci net after uh, after uh, completing this uh, summer school so you can download the uci net software from its uh, website which is uh, analytic tech here you can uh, you will get a software link the full program uh, you can see that it is written here that uh, the full program can be downloaded and uh, used free for 60 days for longer use, individual student pay forty dollars, faculties, school, and government pay one fifty dollar, and the corporation pays uh, two fifty dollars. So I think it is not very costly. So you can download this uh, software, uh, software, and uh, the layout of this software looks like this. So when you will open this software after running it and uh, installing it, it will look like this. So here are the different uh, different important tabs. The file tab, which is used to uh, process the file and save the file, the data in which you edit your data, transform in which you can transform the whole network, and the tools. There are different tools for coloring and uh, giving shape to your notes. Network, it is for the analysis. Visualize, you can uh, convert your visuals here. Like I show, I just uh, show you that uh, there was a network. Network representation was very different in uh, both two diagrams. In the centrality network, there was a circle, so you can uh, you can create that circle by this feature. And uh, option in the option, you get uh, many edit uh, uh, edit data kind of options here. And help if you still not getting how to use it, so there's a help option. So first of all, uh, create a matrix. You need to create a matrix. Suppose you have created a matrix, okay? And then what will you do? You will go to the file, okay? Uh, go to the file and uh, here you will get uh, different options like, uh, yes, uh, yes. So you will get uh, different options like uh, change default folder, create new folder, copy UCI net, rename, delete. So all these uh, are not of uh, any help. So you need to choose only this fact, uh, this uh, this particular uh, uh, this particular thing, change default folder. What will happen? Uh, all whatever you are going to analyze with the help of UCI net, you need to create a separate folder for that because. Uh, uh, if you will not do so, then it, you will face any problem in uh, selecting the files because here we need to select files many times. So it should be uh, it should be kept in the different place. So just choose whatever file folder you want to choose. So after clicking on this option, this uh, folder will be open and uh, choose where where you want to keep your files. So next, uh, this uh, this uh, this is the matrix that we have used in the published paper. So uh, create a matrix and uh, rename all the factors. Give a short form to the factors. Okay, don't uh, write uh, gender age because it will look very uh, vague when you will uh, get the output. So uh, rename all the factors and then copy them. Okay, once you created a selected a folder, just uh, go open your data and copy it. And after that, go to the data and uh, data editor and then select DL editor. Okay, so DL editor, what it does, it uh, just uh, transform your data. Transform, uh, you can also choose this uh, function also. So uh, follow this path and uh, open DL editor. And uh, your DL editor will look like this and uh, just paste all your data. After uh, pasting your data, select the uh, first uh, option, which is metrics. 
uh, attributes two mode. Why we are using two mode? Because uh, our data is two modal. We are using only the binary uh, data, and that is why we are choosing two mode network. Uh, so choose that data and then go to file and uh, save your data. So you can see that save type is already sorry. So you can see that uh, the save type is uh, already UCI data set. Okay, so just uh, give a name to your data. As uh, as soon as you will save your data, a new window will be opened and it would look like this. So it will just uh, show you the data that you have just saved. That uh, this is the output of your data. You have uh, you have entered this data only, and there were uh, one, two, thirty factors in your data. So this file does only this. Okay. So uh, open your folder again, and you will see that uh, there are two different uh, files created by these softwares. Now, uh, next step is to uh, analyze the data. For analysis, go to the fourth, uh, go to the fifth tab uh, in the software, which is network. And in the network, uh, choose the multiple measures. And in multiple measures, use uh, nodal level. And uh, yes, before moving forward, I would request you to please uh, you can note the steps also because uh, it may happen that. Uh, Uh, you will forget it or uh, you will not get the video so please uh, if you want to write it so you can write it so go to the network and uh, then go to the multiple measures and uh, then nodal level okay so there are two options one is the cohesion and second is the centrality so i think we have discussed this in the uh, very uh, first slides that what are the cohesion and centrality cohesion we don't need cohesion because cohesion shows the reciprocity we are not interested in in uh, in analyzing how uh, dense our network is yeah it is matter it matters but uh, we right now we don't want to see the density of a network we are more interested in analyzing the powerful nodes we just want to know the strength of the factor and that is why we choose in centrality okay now Uh, when you will uh, click on centrality node level centrality then this uh, uh, this window will be open and uh, this in this window it will ask you to input the network so you will click here and then uh, select the data that you have saved okay and uh, just click on the open and here you can see that uh, all the things have already been uh, clicked here what you want to do and here is the auto detect uh, data okay if you will uh, click on the directed and directed then it will remove uh, if you will click on the directed then it will remove all the undirected network and if you will if you will click on the undirected then it will uh, remove all the directed data so that is why just uh, leave it don't uh, or uh, don't click anywhere just uh, input your data and press okay so after that uh, a new window will be open and it will give you the analyzed data okay software will uh, analyze data uh, on this spot and it will just give you the results now your results will look like this so what we will uh, get in the analysis you will get out degree okay you will get in degree and you can uh, you can analyze these things also but you don't need to do this much work you can uh, just uh, watch the between the centrality and uh, there will be cohesion also okay so uh, i have just uh, clicked on these three actually there was some more uh, more centralities or the degrees there but uh, i didn't uh, uh, took the screenshot of those but only these trees are very important for you if you want to uh, calculate the closeness centrality then that is also fine but uh, right now for the factors it is not needed okay so uh, what it is doing it is uh, it is just telling you the scores like uh, for gender it is giving you 80 score and uh, for for in degree you can see the gender in degree is zero it means 
that no other factor is affecting the gender and out degree of uh, gender is 8 it means that gender is uh, affecting eight networks okay similarly let's see uh, whose uh, in degree is very high here so we can see the in degree of uh, 22 sorry ma and st is very high it means that these are the factor who are influencing most of the factors in the network similarly come to the in degree uh, in degree so let's see that uh, whose uh, in degree is highest so we can see that uh, in degree of 25 which is ie so in degree of uh, ie is very high it means uh, 25 uh, kind of relationship and nodes are affecting the ie factor okay similarly let's uh, look at the betweenness so betweenness is here and uh, let's see the highest betweenness centrality so betweenness centrality of uh, 89 is high and here 30 131 is very high okay and which is st it means that st is affecting the connection between sorry connection of 131 network what does it mean it means that st is there between this much networks suppose there is a and b and c is in the middle it means c is in in the between and this is your between in centrality okay so this is uh, how you will uh, analyze your data okay now uh, uh, next is to how to visualize data we know we have all the measures we have analyzed the data but how to visualize data for that there are different tabs first one is that if you but if you will go to visualize you will have to convert your data into pajek and only after that you will be able to visualize it so next better option is to click on this particular tab okay and uh, uh, i think i have already explained that uh, uci net have uh, one inbuilt software and we have already seen it let me just show you where we saw it yes so net draw okay you can download it uh, from uh, other source or uh, it is already in uci net okay so it is called net draw so click on net draw net draw enables you to uh, analyze the data in the whatever uh, form in whatever form uci net gives you so when you will click on this and net draw uh, a different window will be open and in this uh, window there will be different options so again like file edit layout analyze transform properties very similar options okay so next just go to the file and uh, click on the open and then a uh, new dialog dialog box will be open click on the uci net data set and then click on the network okay now we are not clicking on two mode network you can click you can click on the two mode network also and you will get some sort of uh, same kind of uh, graph okay so we we are always click on the network so it is fine whatever wherever you want to click okay so click on the network and then they will ask you the file what file you want to input and uh, just uh, enter your file and click on okay okay so such diagram will be in front of you so here you can see whatever uh, whatever we put in that uh, paper is here so this is how you can uh, take the visual you can visualize your data this is the technique and you can if you don't like this output if you don't like this output suppose it's very hazy and you don't like the stars so you can go to the transformation trans you can transform your data here here will be option of circle random so you can choose a different properties or different layout from here okay so this is all about so that was all about the software how to use software and uh, next 
what is the future is scope of social network analysis if you are very interested in doing the analysis and using this software so what what is the different uh, way or what are the different area where you can use it although we already know uh, all, although it was discussed in the very first slide just give me 2 minutes Although it was discussed in the very uh, very first slides that uh, it can be used uh, everywhere because networks are everywhere, but still very few people are using social network analysis now. So let's see what are the area where you can use it and uh, how you can what uh, particular data you can use it. So first we have the example of Twitter. These are the list of studies. Uh, which have used social network data and uh, uh, i have written the uh, some uh, sample the sample name from where they have collected data and uh, like uh, the first two are written on the sample and uh, these are the uh, area where they have applied <coughs> and uh, uh, these are the uh, purpose for what purpose they have used the study. So first one is study is uh, about Twitter. It is based on the Twitter data. So let's see. Is it visible? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think there is some problem. Wait, I think there is some problem. Let me just open the file. Okay, so this uh, this study was uh, conducted in the year 2020, and it is about the friendship ties. How do friendship and advice ties emerges? And uh, case study of graduate student social networks. Okay, so it was about the social network of a student, and uh, it focuses on uh, identifying the how ties are emerging. So they have uh, fetched the data from the uh, Twitter and uh, this was their friendship network. They identified uh, that there is a existence of two kinds of network. One is the friendship and other was uh, uh, advice network. So this is how their friendship network looked like and it was more clustered in two, two different ways. Okay? It, was, uh, it was very highly dense in the uh, left side and it was a uh, very less tensed in the right side of the network but there was two different clusters similarly when they looked at the advice network they found out that clustering is a uh, very different uh, very different and there are many clusters of uh, advising it means uh, people are uh, the friendship network is uh, only there is a two cluster of friendship network and there are four, four 
or four or five cluster of uh, advice network yeah. and they have also uh, <coughs> shown uh, who is advising who and they have also uh, mentioning here that to who considered uh, his friend to okay so this was uh, their analysis and the community detect uh, detected for the friendship network and community detected for the advice network so you can see then uh, another chief, another thing that uh, they identified that uh, community detection for the friendship network there were three bigger cluster and community detection for the advice network then there was a uh, two different uh, bigger clusters okay so this was uh, their analysis and uh, even after that uh, they have also calculated done some calculation and what they have shown in that calculation what are different uh, uh, parameters that they have uh, taken for identifying the friendship networks so first of all uh, they have uh, looked at uh, these attributes the genders the race identify the country uh, all the participants were from china india and us usa and uh, age openness consciousness extraversions age agreeableness and uh, neuro neuroticism okay so these were the attributes that uh, they were they have taken for uh, this analysis and uh, uh, these are the analysis if you if you like this paper i will uh, just mail it on the group okay so this uh, this was example of uh, friendship network and uh, the emergence of ties next study is uh, about the uh, data that was collected from the faculties and uh, let me just uh, share that to people okay so uh, this paper was about the uh, applying social network analysis uh, to scientific impact assessment okay so for that they have collected data from the uh, 55 faculties it means they they must have prepared um, uh, 55 into 55 uh, this much matrix in order to collect the data and uh, you can see the relationship here okay they have colored the notes and they have uh, they have uh, mentioned the measures that they have taken and uh, similarly there are some uh, there are some studies um, like this study this study was about the factors so authors have tried to identify the most influential factors with the help of social network analysis and uh, for that they have uh, collected data Uh, they have collected the primary data just like us and uh, the study was about the green building uh, if they want to build a green building then what uh, particular factors will be there okay so uh, they have also given the list of the factors that they have identified through the literature review and the project life different uh, different factors acha uh, what is very interesting about this study is that 
they have uh, uh, first of all shows the impact of these factors whatever they have written here uh, on these factors and these factors only these uh, these two factors so they have just uh, uh, also shows the interrelationship between the factors also so this was their network and uh, it is showing the state is stakeholder in, uh, associated influencing factors it means those factors which are only related to the stakeholders and uh, here is the out degree they have represented through the graph and uh, these are the stakeholders and uh, how they are influencing hold uh, hold uh, diagram whole network and this diagram was uh, prepared with the pajik they have used pajik network so if you are interested in using pajik then your output would look like this okay so they have uh, showed uh, who are the most influential like uh, s9 f2 so i don't know what was it but it is the most uh, important factor and that is why it is in the middle and the factors who are very outer in the outer side and who are not uh, who are very far from uh, other factor it means those factor were very least influential there are some other story uh, studies also and uh, one study was there for the uh, review of literatures yes so this uh, this was uh, another very interesting study and it was conducted in the year of 2016 so they have uh, done the review of literature and uh, for that they have used the social network analysis approach and uh, they have calculated the mean centrality degree centrality and uh, uh, and uh, many other uh, measures in order to find out the most influential topic most influential um, the most influential country and uh, what was the most uh, common uh, keyword in these studies so they have uh, identified that with the help of social network analysis and it is one of the very best papers uh, in my opinion so here you can see the keywords so these were the keywords in uh, used in those studies and uh, they have calculated the degree centrality between the centrality and then they have given the output also and uh, how they have uh, taken the data how they came to uh, this much studies whatever they have taken okay so the studies were taken from the science direct springer general taylor and francis so this is another very important study and very interesting also okay so i was not Madam, able to can you share it in our group yeah yeah sure. for the studies yes i will share it so there were some more studies but uh, i don't know why it is not working i'm clicking on but the paper is not opening here but i will share all the papers in the group so you can uh, just uh, go through those paper and uh, know more about the social network analysis so uh, now uh, we are at the end of the session so if you have any question you can ask it was there any confusion any question or anything that i was not able to explain in a better way